There is grief tonight in Stephen McDonald's hometown of Malvern. A man so many people admired has died. A hero cop who suffered enormously but never succumbed to bitterness is gone. He uh, persevered under a very, very difficult situation, and he's courageous and uh, has a gigantic heart. Stephen McDonald had countless admirers, including Cardinal Dolan. We Catholics had a special uh, pride in him. He took his faith so seriously, and he lived it. Character, heart, virtue, love, light. And he just spent three decades radiating that. In the summer of 86, McDonald had less than two years on the job when he found himself in Central Park staring at a teenage bike thief who was holding a gun. He pulled the trigger on the gun and I watched it explode uh, a reddish orange flame jumping out of the barrel of the gun. What really I remember most, it was so terribly loud. With a new wife pregnant with their son, Stephen McDonald was suddenly a quadriplegic facing incredible challenges. On the day of his son's baptism, he chose to forgive the teen who shot him. Had I sought revenge, I, I would have been a dead man already. McDonald dedicated his life to spreading peace and reconciliation. Forgiveness grows. Understanding power, tolerance. He visited countless schools, attended hundreds of parades, and shared his wisdom at any police precinct that invited him. Connor McDonald followed his dad into the police force in 2010. My wife's love, my son's affection, keeps me going every day of my life. That God has a plan for me um, that's different from other people. And that's the only reason why I'm here. I'm using this word purposely. We've got a real saint on our hands. He was really a prophet. He was really an icon. Very strong. And, um, you know, he just didn't give up on life. He made the most of every day, it seemed like. Tonight, PBA President Patrick Lynch calls Stephen McDonald, quote, the most courageous and forgiving man I have ever known. And Mayor de Blasio called McDonald the city's greatest example of heroism and grace. In Malvern, Nassau County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.